I need I need two dollars and twenty five cents because that's probably how much the soda costs. I mean, I could also go and steal the soda. I just don't want to get up. Yes. No, oh, that that's the the venue. All right, I want you guys to know now, I'm a scream if anything hype happens. Fortunately, there's an Akatsuki here, so that nothing hype can happen. <laughs> you're Akatsuki. Yeah, you're Akatsuki. You're a boring top tier. You're not even like a hype top tier. Who's a, who, who would you say is the hypest top tier? Who's the hypest top tier? And Wagner's hella hype. Wagner's uh, hype? Merkava's hype. I think, uh... Uh, Batista's hype when she's played well. Yeah. Um... Wallstein can be hype. When Wallstein gets to the comeback, that's the hype. I think Yuzu's kind of hype. Yuzu's not top tier though. Yuzu's yeah. like a low tier. Really? Oh, I thought she was like mid tier. Mm, low mid. Okay. Like the highest I'll get for is mid. All right, so we got Buddy versus Jot. Jot on uh, Yuzu's way to reset. Oh, we got Hyde versus Akatsuki. We got Hyde versus Akatsuki. I can't believe losers finals is gonna be infinitely more hype than Grants. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, he just ran up GP. All right. Not a good sign. Akatsuki is a high damage, all right mix up kind of character. He can just hit buttons for a long ass time. Akatsuki was the worst, not the worst, but he was up there for worst character in the game in the last version. And then he got the right pumps in this version that made him top tier. See how that health bar from Hyde is just melted? Oh! oh he did a Gerd chip. Got the chain shift into DP. Uh, so yeah, Jot's just kind of like... He just throws a fireball to cancel out the fireball. Assaults yeah. over his opponent to get hit. Not the smartest play I've ever seen. But I think Jot's a little nervous. Didn't throw him into the corner. Just hit the XDP. No follow-up. All right, so everyone here knows that that top two ends in an overhead for some yes, reason. Everyone knows now. I think everyone here got mixed up by that team like eight times before they learned that that was an overhead. Pretty much. Because your brain thinks, well, the first two bits were low. Or mid. Oh, he woke up TP. No. That's not quite it. Ooh, dash back overhead. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not great, but it worked in that scenario. Definitely. So it's 1 0 on Buddy. I love Akoski's victory screen. Yeah. Have you seen the image of uh, that one Simpsons character with the edit over him with Akoski? Yes! It's, it's so good. Oh, oh, Principal Skinners? Yeah, but it's yeah. Akoski, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah. What about it? Oh, he went to Akitu. Yes. Oh my god, Jot. My goodness. Jot, I played this matchup, so I know what to do. This is actually not as terrible. This is not Akitu's worst matchup by a long shot. The parry helps out so much in this matchup. But I don't want to shout that out too loud. You had to time it right, because Akitu's parry doesn't work the way it's supposed to. It, it, it's not necessarily bugged, it's just unreliable. It's bugged. But Nkidu has two problems in this matchup. Number one, he has no good reversal option. Number two, he has no good neutral option against Katsuki's fireballs. Number three, his mix-up's not as strong as it should be. But what Nkidu does have is high damage on counter hits. So when you get something like that, it hurts. So I'd assume that his matchup against Batista Well, so the way his unique mechanic is called Havoc, and it means he gets extra damage and hits on off all his counter hits. This means his matchup against Batista is just even worse, because he has no neutral tools and his main gimmick doesn't work. Right. Oh, he just did that medium punch. I respect it. Nice dash to DP from Buddy. And in the Sitatsu. Oh, no. The X parry is not very well. I, I, it's not, in my opinion, a good use of meter. Okay, let's see. Steamrolling over an Akidu is not uh, unexpected. Yeah. Gonna switch over one more time, it looks like. He's switching Akidu oh, colors? They go to Akidu Dittos. 
Uh, this could possibly... Well, let's see what happens. Let's see his choice. He's not allowed to switch, but if his opponent's letting it go, yeah. <laughs> Are we going to see a perfect with Enkidu? Because it's always hype when it happens. Can we see Enkidu's infinite worth? Enkidu's infinite worth is the hyper stuff. Isn't it just all the buttons twice? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's in what is it? What's that mechanic called? Yeah, not purple. It's a uh, EX off. Whenever you glow red, fail off. Yeah. All right, that's good. This is an interesting matchup. So Lene does not have the neutral tools you really want in order to like keep Kido off you, because you got kind of short. Well, she has a decent long range button, but it's not great, and she got a lot of mix up. Which means she can bait out counter very easily. Yeah. Also, she has the quick buttons you need for Enkidu's stubby normals that are usually minus. Yeah. This is definitely in the really Yeah. Uh, using the speed, the mix up, and um, it's kind of like really good damage in terms of really does damage. Alright, so. That's minus. Oh, but no punish. No air fireballs from this Lene. Parry. He hits the parry. You don't you don't see the parry hit too often. Outside of in carefully placed uh situations. Fun fact about that parry, it's so wonky, it doesn't even consistently work on fireballs. Sometimes it works on fireballs, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, alright, just do the EX punch. Yep. The bionic arm of death. In Kidu's whole gimmick is that he hits you really hard. Alright. That's minus. No! He went for throw! You gotta, you gotta be wary for that um, uh, counter. Because you go for an obvious like jump in, eat it. Ooh! He did the command grab. It's not really a command grab, but. Next hit it, yep. Winning three oh. oh wow. We had two Enkidu wins in this set so of Under Night and Unrest. Uh, Who allowed this to happen? Uh, Eunice, thank you all for participating. Well we done, game, buddy. And we want you to won Under Night. If anyone likes well Under done, or is interested in playing it, please play with us. We'd love to. And if anyone likes Under Night, it's usually on sale on Steam. For around 30, 40, somewhere around there. It goes on sale somewhat regularly, so look out.